Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a bit of an update from the floor, and we're going to have a little bit of a chat here, myself and Goose. We're going to have a bit of a chat about the qualifiers that led up to the Call of Duty Australia and New Zealand finals. Uh, the next series is just getting set up, which we're going to be seeing Avant Garde take on Mind Freak. Now, we did hear a little earlier, Mind Freak took down uh, Emperor in a 3 0 fashion. Very dominating yeah, style, but we impressive. did see Avant Garde fight it out to the fifth game up against Uprising. Now, uh, what are your thoughts on these two teams? Now, as we look at the bracket that we have in front of us, this was the qualifying bracket for this event, folks. We did see Mind Freak. They, uh, they had a very, very uh, strong game up against Immunity. Uh, they narrowly lost 3-2. Mm. That was in the qualifier. Yeah. Until they went back into the grand final, but then, unfortunately, Immunity walked away by winning three games straight. 6-2 was, was, yeah. was the grand final score. But, um, yeah, so Mind Freak up against Avant-Garde. What are your thoughts on this, Goose? I mean, after that, there was a bit of a shaky win by Avant-Garde last, last uh, round, but, um, and a 3-zip three, three to, uh, to Mind Freak. So, I mean, they've got to be coming off a high with that 3-0, and uh, they've already kind of have the, you know, the history of, of knocking them out previously in the, in the qualifying. So, I mean, they've got to go in with a higher expectations than Avant-Garde Avant -Garde will have. So Yeah, well, um, mm, that's right. It after it, you know, Emperor are very, very strong. Uh, squad in their oh, own right, most definitely, yeah. you know. But uh, you know, it just shows Mind Freak taking them out 3-0 fashion. So Emperor was knocked down into the losers bracket. Um, a couple of updates as well. Immunity was up against Hostile. It might have finished by now, but I think it was 2-0 when we last checked. They were looking like they were going to take out that series in 3-0 fashion. And Seraphic Nexus versus Aura. Aura were up 2-1 when we last checked in on them. So we'll get some more updates as they come through, folks. So we are in winner's bracket round two. As we were just saying, Avant Garde versus Mind Freak. They're up next. The first game is going to be Hard Point on Hijack. I've been really enjoying these Hard Point games so far. We've yeah. only seen two on stream, but they've been amazing. They've, they've been pretty eventful, that's for sure. So, I, I mean, the fact that, uh, that Mind Freak actually beat beat uh, Avant-Garde. I'm pretty curious to see how this goes out, considering Avant-Garde are so strong on their hardpoint maps. It's going to be a bit of a test, the first map, how that goes, to see how the actual series is going to unfold. I completely mm. agree. Like, I reckon we could predict, if Mind Freak walk away with this, like, if they have a convincing victory here on the hardpoint on Hijack, if it's convincing, yeah. then I reckon they could walk away with the series. It, it, it most likely will be the case. I, I really want Avant-Garde to win the first map, just so we've got an interesting, you know, five, five, uh, five map series to watch. Just uh, having there be two, two hard points on there, so it'd be good to see how that goes. Well, in the qualifier, the Australian qualifier for this championship, we did see it was Immunity who took first place. They won, the, the final score was 6-2 in that grand final, obviously in a continuation series. It was Mind Freak, obviously, who came second, but Avant Garde came third. So we're seeing the top three uh, teams going by the qualifying bracket mm. play on stream straight away. Some very exciting stuff. Mm. I am absolutely hyped for this next game. So... Oh. Um, it, it, quite, it could be probably one of the, most likely one of the best matches of the day, I think. Like, so early on as Definitely. well, it's going to be uh, really good to watch. Well, it's going to be really interesting to see whoever gets dropped to the loser's bracket out of these two oh. teams. They are both top three teams going by They're the qualifying dominate, bracket. Yeah. Although, don't rule out, we do have Seraphic Nexus. You know, the guys from across the ditch, they're in there in the, in the mix as well. So watch out for those guys. But either way, I'm really interested to see, out of these two teams, if they can fight their way through the loser bracket, whoever does lose this series. But I tell you what, it's not about oh, the loser, it's about the winner. And That's exactly I, right. But yeah, the loser's definitely still going to be you know, in, in the park. They're not going to be going for the day, I don't think. I think we'll see them on main stage again shortly after. So we're getting this game started very, very soon by the looks of it. The uh, guys are just getting all of their classes in the game set up. As w as I said, it is Mind Freak up against Avant Garde. Now we saw the Avant Garde lineup before, but in case you've just tuned in or don't recall, we do have File Sider, Vamped, Hopi, and Hysteria going up against Mind Freak's Maka, Zeke, Critical, and Envious. Now there are some big names there, some big names oh, yeah. in the Australian uh, competitive Call of Duty scene. And uh, all star look, cast. Yeah, that's right, an all-star <laughs> cast. Absolutely. So, um, just waiting so, for some final changes. Looks like, I'm having a look on main stage, they're going to be getting started very, very soon. Now, look, I'm, I'm so pumped for this. Oh, I yeah. really am. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I think it's the mother energy running through my veins. <laughs> yeah, well, You've through a can already, isn't it? Oh, almost, almost. It's lovely stuff. Now, I just want to give uh, a, a quick shout out to the supporters of this event. Of course, we do have Treyarch, Activision, Xbox, ACL Pro, EB Games, and Turtle Beach. As you can see there on stream, that we do have Mind Freak 
up against Avant Guard. We're going to be jumping right into this game. Let's check out the new crew. We have Mind Freak up on main stage. We're going to kick things off with Mind Freak's Envious. He's going to be rocking out with the uh, combat knife to start things off. His team running oh, down the side here. Now look, hard point starts off here in the middle, in between the the uh, the top and the seating. Now we do see uh, this is um, Envious getting Ooh. the early kills. Did he get the two? Almost followed up with the three piece there. Unfortunately, it was taken down by Hysteria there in the end. And look at Hope this. Hysteria with big breakouts here for Vanguard. That's two doubles. So. They really get the map control early. How, how amazing is the, the breakout always on Hijack? It's always just intense, like the Firefly's going nuts. Well, because there's obviously, you've got so many entrances into that middle area. Obviously, you've got joke. the four corners, you've got the two the two up high, those, those balconies, and you know, you can got, get shots on from every which way through there. So we're just checking out Hopi now. He was cruising through the seating, looks across Ooh, map, gets the two piece, does unlock the Hellstorm. We're going to be seeing that come into play very soon. He also has the Lightning Strike up his sleeve as well. Crossing through the, uh, I think this is the, sorry, the lounge bedroom. He's gone upstairs now, throwing a couple of flashes. He knows someone's up there. He does secure this hard point just as it moves. So I hope he's playing really, really well as a team player here. He is rocking out with the MSMC and he drops the two piece. See, so you, you waited, waited until he had a bit of HP there and then just came through and just cleaned up. That was perfect, man. Perfect. It really, really was. Chilling near the dryers here. Rocks straight back out, but he's not going to be able to take down three guns as uh, Zeke Envious uh, Zeke and Envious take over that hard point. Very, very nice work. Now he's gone down low into the engine room. Got a teammate with him. There's a lot of action down here. We're going to see them rock up through. And it is uh, Avant in the lead at the moment, 56-27. But it is Mind Freak who's in control of this hard point right now. Solid shots. Hopi, nice work taking out Critical. Oh. <laughs> and Zeke <laughs> drops down on him. But yeah. look, he didn't know what he was doing. Drops straight down into the gun of Hopi who's Bullish. now rocking the AN-94 as well. A couple of flashes out, gets the hit marker. He knows someone's in there, and this powerful assault rifle comes out to play. So many hit markers, but no killers. Does eventually get the kill on Critical before Zeke gets the two-piece. He must have been bright red as well. He got a triple. Zeke with a triple there. That was insane. You know, he's ripping out that cap 40. you got to watch that. He does get the three-piece, holding down this hard point. 45 seconds left. This was great set up by Mike. You know, I thought there was a bit of trouble there as they were trying to drop down on Hopi, but... Uh, he did his best to really block off that, uh, that uh, entrance there. He, he nailed it. He smoked it up. He just had him smashed and he still lost it. Yeah. I find it amazing how much of how much pressure Mind Freak's just put on in the last, you know, 30 to 45 seconds. They've yeah. now jumped in the lead, 74 to 56. They've got control, hoping with the shield. <laughs> Vile side against, uh -oh. uh, drops Zeke. <laughs> and then look at this. Envious takes down uh, a one-player event before Maka gets the two-piece. He's now Enemy got spot. three kills, throwing the nade up high. Look, there's a couple of players up there. there. That's going to do damage, surely. Gets the hit marker, goes the flash. And oh. look, oh my god, ruthless push Balls by Maka. <laughs> Exactly, and he's trying to look. He's so hot. He's shooting teammates. Get that shotgun out of here. Hope he gets dropped. Maka, look, settle oh down. Oh my son. God, he is holding the hard point. He's six kills up. Gets the sentry gun. Whips it out in this hard point. Fifty seconds left. Perfect timing by Maka. Mind freak going large right now, and I think this is going to be basically an indicator of how the series is going to go. Now it is contested at the moment. Someone's coming in the back. Maka knows that, but he's a bit paranoid about what's happening at the front as well, and rightfully so. As we check it out, there's members from Avant all over the place right here. We check out the mini map. Look at this. They did spawn up the back near the chopper, and they're coming in before. Uh, I think that was Vamp who just took him out. Let's check out Hopi. And good timing too, as he just uses the Hellstorm missile to take down Envious. Vileside are taking down Critical. Now Hopi is doing his best to hold down this hard point. Oh my gosh, this is just so good. Exciting stuff. Rips yeah. out the pistol at the end, but no no luck. He, he hasn't got... He, he can't, can't live up to Macca's uh, standards, I don't think. That was too ridiculous by him a little bit earlier. Now, this hard point just moved. He has the lightning strike up his sleeve, and as I was getting to it, yeah. he uses it at the beginning. Now, let's see what he can do with it. Oh, nice. Gets the two. Oh, he gets all oh, four. Hopey going <laughs> huge there with the lightning strike. Oh my god, showing that's, yeah, fury that Macca... Maka following it up with a lightning strike of his own though. Look at all these medals coming up the top of his screen. Secures the hard point. He's got everything. Yeah, everything. Not, that that, that uh, second lightning strike definitely not quite as effective as the first one. That, that was a big turning point there for a vamp. 
It really was. Now, uh, Critical, we just saw him with the two-piece. He did go large in his own right. And as we see, Avant are coming back with his hard point. And uh, look, this is Critical doing his best to secure this hard point once again and get his team in the lead. He's got the cap out at the moment, put him to work. Oh. Almost gets the two-piece, but that's going to be uh, pretty much three different members of Event getting kills there. We've got Vamp holding down the fort now. This uh, hard point's about to move, though, hard and we're going to see that move uh, down hard into the uh, engine room, I that do was, believe. That was a pretty big point shift we've seen there. It went from uh, well, down about 40 points and that going into that hard point. They really brought it back there. So. They really, really did indeed. So we're going to be seeing Event now behind a little bit. One <laughs> oh, oh, what? Yeah, I'm not really Cheat, sure what happened there. Flash. <laughs> so 133 to 108, Mind Freak walking away. They've got three players, uh, well, they did have three players into, in the hard point, but uh, and that was um, Envious who was killed by Hopi there. Critical still two kill kills up, and he's down here in the end room. He's going to be pushing up, taking down Vamp. He's got this AN94 out, powerful assault rifle. He's going to be putting it to work. Envious takes down Hysteria, and then Critical getting dropped by Hopi. Now Vamp, we see him, he's one kill up, he's holding down this hard point, throws the flash, hoping to jump out with his PDW. Ooh. He does, but unfortunately gets taken down by Maka. Now Maka, he was going so large before, he still is, <laughs> he still is getting the double. He, he's just yeah, going to work. He's always in the right spot as well. Like, look at this, look at this. Definitely. Oh, oh my, my god. How, how, how's he doing? Maka, oh. Maka, oh my god. <laughs> He gets the two-piece, uh, he gets the hard point. I think that's why MF are actually pulling away a little bit here. It has to be just Maka. Like, he is pulling some huge kills. In. It's Maka. You could say, Maka is pulling an essay right now. That's what's <laughs> oh, happening. Oh, really? That's <laughs> happening already? <laughs> that's happening no. already. I'm keeping it alive. <laughs> now, you know what? Mac has earned his own name. He's making oh. a name for himself here at the uh, Call of Duty Championship main stage. He's going so large. And look, he, he's just pulling it away for his team. We do see Avant, though, in control of the hard point at the moment with three minutes left on the clock. 178 Ooh, to 131. Did he double up? He didn't, nah, unfortunately. Nah, he, he tagged the hell Someone out of here. Someone around there. And look at this. Just fearless caps. And oh, <laughs> How did that knife miss? I have Must no have idea. Cut the sole of his shoe off, I think. I have mastered those steel cap boots, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so we did see it was Zeke in control. Hopi's now in the hard point. He's holding Ooh, with his MSMC. Bit of a pat on the back for Vamp there by Hopi. He really, really was. And then he was just taken out by Critical from Mind Freak. Now straight up the spawn, he's going to be taking out Maka before Envious gets revenge for his teammate. Two members of Mind Freak holding the, uh, the hard point at the moment. It is contested. That's going to be, I'm not sure who that was. That's probably Vile Sider before he was unfortunately taken down. On board with Maka, he's still holding this hard point. 30 seconds left. He's racking up some valuable, valuable points. He's throwing out the nades and the um, concussion straight out there into the middle of the map. It's going uncontested. What? It's, uh, I mean, Where it must be set up for the next one, surely. They, they can't afford to do it. They just dropped about 15, 20 points if, there. Yeah, if they were setting up for the next, it didn't really make sense. It was like 25 seconds left. I think yeah, it might have yeah. been just some unfortunate spawns. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. So, so that hard point is about to move. Five seconds left. He's over here in seating at the moment. He's going to check out... Well, he's going to be checking out Hopi. That's what he's checking out. Popping a few caps in his B5. They had that whole hard point. Like, mostly uncontested. Now they're set up for the next one in the middle here, and it's hard to get that one back. Too. Avant really had to push a lot harder than what they just did. We're checking out this Hellstorm. Is he going to cluster it? No, he's going to go straight for the kill on Hysteria. It's like right Zeke lost that gunfight, then. This would have been a team kill for no reason. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, mm. so uh, Vamp ended up taking him out. So let's go check out Vamp. Is he's two kills up for a Van at the moment, getting flashed. He does have the two piece. Goes for long distance shot. Oh. I don't know how he wasn't dropped there. And he does follow pull it off with the cap forty though, taking down Maka. That's two players Ooh. from a Van. Uh, sorry, Mind Freak running into seeding, and he was taken out by Maka. Yeah, this middle, this middle hard point has definitely been the saving grace for a Van, but it doesn't seem like it's happening this time around. No, it doesn't. Now, as we say that, they are racking up the points at the moment. Now, a minute left. My calculations are correct. They're going to have to hold nearly every point that's available to them until the end of this game if they want to come back. And I'll tell you what, they're doing it right now. We're seeing Vilesider holding down the hill valiantly, but Zeke was already in position to hold the next hard point. Oh, he's got reinforcements now as well. He does, and that was Zeke. managed to get the double kill there before Vilesider took him out. And then Hopi, of course, taking out Critical. Now look, look at the scoreboard. It's, look, it's now impossible for, um, for sorry, for Advance to come back. But look, 
They fought so valiantly. That was that was they were on an amazing comeback until Zeke went large. Yeah, that double kill definitely uh, gave them the final points they needed. I mean, it really did. He was already in position in the next hard point. He got the the two piece. He went large then. But I tell you what, this game's all about Maka. It is. It is. And uh, Mac is Mac is a bit of an all round star. He's he's gonna perform in uh, all the all the game types really. He's not a one trick pony with hard point. He's definitely not. No. Nah. Definitely not. So Tom, I didn't actually see the kill cam went to. Went to Envious. Having a bit of a dance with his gun for taking uh, down the one and only event, Hopi. <laughs> taking down just before the two piece. So yeah, okay. game number one is going to go to Mind Freak. Avant now one down, one nil down in this series. A best of five. Mm, searching to throw standoff next as well. That's a, that's a great map for flanking. It's a really tactical map. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Well, see, this is the interesting thing. We did say that if Avant dropped that first hard point game, we're kind of feeling that Mind Freak's going to walk away with it. Now, we got to think about this. Mind Freak 3 0'd uh, Emperor in winner's bracket round one. Mm -hmm. They've come up against Avant, who played really strong. They dominated hard point. But M Mind Freak have just come back and smashed them in the first hard point game, which was on Hijack. Now, yeah, moving into so. S&D, obviously totally different game type to hard point, but that wasn't Avant's strong point. Their strong point was hard point. Mm, exactly. I, that was a yeah, no, I know what you mean, but um, yeah, so they definitely, uh, they, that would have been a, a pretty low blow to, to lose hard point then after your strong performance in hard point in the first map, the first match. So, um, I mean... Avant's got to be feeling pretty shaky going into the second map after dropping their strongest game type you know, on map one. That's not a good start. No, not at all. No, and no. Uh, it kind of went this way through the qualifying bracket as well because it was Mind Freak that uh, Avant lost to mm. in the qualifier leading exactly, up to this event. Yeah. So they, they are hoping to get some revenge here, but, but Mind Freak just you pushed just gotta, the pain. They must be sitting there just going, oh, not again. Right yeah, now. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much, pretty much, yeah, right? Yeah, you wouldn't want that. No, but um, look, don't rule them out. They oh. played amazingly strong in, uh, in in winners bracket round one. They only won three two, but it was convincing on those hard point games. They could come back now. S and D on standoff, you know, a really really good game top. I love standoff mm. as a map. Hard to know how what to expect from Avant with, with um, search like based on the first game even. Like the first map on search and destroy, they were they were pretty immaculate. They did a really good job on that, and then it switched over. And then they, on the was it uh, slums the second map they played. Yeah. And at this, yeah, they couldn't bring it through at all. They were just shocking on that second map. I don't know, maybe it was a bit of, I don't know, demoralization from the CTF. They hadn't recovered yet, or I'm not too sure. But yeah, it seemed like the first surge game, they were really good. Second one, uh, it was pretty disgraceful. So uh, I don't know, see how they go this time, third time around. Well, I'm, you know, I'm cheering them on. I'm hoping for, you know, another oh, five-game yeah. series. Definitely. We always love to see that. Now, um, as we said, it is going to be search and destroy on standoff. Now, guys, if you haven't already, people watching at home, please tweet and Facebook the stream. You know you want to. Twitch.tv forward slash ACL Pro. You're watching it right now. Make sure you let everyone know. We're going to be jumping right into this game. Search and Destroy on standoff. Your pick, Goose. Um, it's hard to say. I, I don't really want to go against Avant, but uh, I feel like they're probably going to lose this map based on the first one. It seemed like they were really affected by the... Um, the morale, I guess, by losing the last CTF against Uprising. And it, it seemed to just, it just shown in their gameplay. It wasn't just them getting outplayed. Like, they're just bad shooting and stuff. They're really the down. So I think uh, MF are going to just come off a big high here and just steamroll. Well, we see uh, Zeke is the one to pick up the bomb for his team. He's also rocking the AR as well. So, um, look, he's checking out uh, past the tractor there. Uh, who... Which, um, what are they going for? I think it's they're probably going, going to be for an A. Yeah, they're going for A here. Going for an A plant. And that, that whole A bomb side is incredibly hard to defend. So you can you can rush in there really well, and there's not much you can do about it. Just throw a couple of nades down and GG. But um, yeah, so the fact that they've actually given the game the the, the, the spawn spot to begin with. Ooh. What you need to do in this attack here is you really need to hold onto your nades. Because there's only like a select couple of spots they can go. They can go into where we're looking at that little square area or behind the track. That that's their only real two options. So if they just hung into a couple of nades, even flashes, and they could just come in and just storm them. But uh, it doesn't seem like that that's what their plan is. I don't think these teams aren't really that seasoned at searching destroyers. They are. I've been in the past. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they go. Looks like they're not attacking in a very uh, unusual way. It is now 1v3. The only one alive is Envious. Let's check out what he's doing. It was too yeah, much pressure nah, for him as Vamp. The whole, the whole team was defending A then. So I guess they, 
MF I really didn't uh, click their head together at all. They didn't save the nades. They didn't. Um, they didn't flank or any of that business. They just kind of you know slowly walked in towards the A bomb side. Like, what do you expect? That's going to happen to yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. Yeah, they didn't really seem too composed now mm. there. But it's going to be interesting to see how they play. We'll actually stick with Mind Freak and see how they play in the defensive role, okay. and, uh, and and see how they play. Now I want to get, jump on with uh, Critical. He's going to run past the tank here and run straight into that tractor area. Maybe now that trophy was a bit of a fail. Let's try again. Round two, he gets it. So he's going to be running into this area. We do see that's Envious there backing him up. So they do expect an A plant. But uh, as we see, look at how passive Avant is. Yeah, that's, that's a bit unusual. I think, see, the, the, the actually, all those spots they have are quite average at peaking as well. They must have Vile started sniping in that back middle building. I'd, I'd, I really suspect that's what's happening right now. And look, no, so that, yeah. that, that's Vileside, but it wasn't Vileside no, no. in the position you thought. He does I, have I, the scope out, though, it, yeah. as uh, predicted. Attacking at uh, both sides of this map, really good with the scope. If, if you use it right, Vileside should not be there. I'm saying it now. I reckon he should be in that back building, which I suspect probably um, must be Hopi in there. That back middle yeah, building. I, I think that is Hopi well, back down. Now yeah. look, look at Vant. He knows there's someone in this little courtyard bit here, aside from uh, Tractor. Now, 30 seconds left. He needs to make a move. Uh, that was just... He had the bomb as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's that's rocking silly. the FAL with the, with, the, with the bomb, and like he had no that's support bad. there. I must say, both of these teams, the defences are like, yeah, they're alright, but their attacks are just being disgusting. They're, just, they're losing, they're, they're, they're winning the team, they're winning on the defence, like there's nothing to it. Yeah, I... Uh, attacking is not that hard, like, no. they really should be rushing in. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen anyone with a submachine gun, like what the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, I think it's probably the size of the map stand-up, but Maka, he finished off with the two-piece there. Yeah, Maka, yeah, of shot a couple of people in the back. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> so, um, look, destroy. let's check out Avant now. Let's watch Hopi. He's usually the bomb carrier for this team. Protect but, uh, I don't think we're carrying the bomb this time. Yeah, I don't this think we're <laughs> uh, Okay, we'll see how this pans out. Once again, throwing all of them all over the wall, as per usual. Trophies. Okay. Got a lot of those trophy systems. Oh. Uh, well, once again, oh, that looks like they actually got a bit of a tension. No, they're still doing the exact same thing. Zeke got that kill. If only had some team support there, maybe they could have steamed all that A bomb side. But that's oh. right. So Zeke uh, unfortunately paid the price a little early, and Hopi getting the nice kills. Oh. Tries to get three for his team, unfortunately yeah, taken down. Now spot. it's two v one at the moment. Only one left for Vile side, and he was taken down. So the wind's going to go to Mind Freak with Critical cool. getting the final kill there. So it is two one to Mind Freak in, uh, at the beginning of this series. So uh, now the pressure is actually on uh, Avant to, to pull through and get a get around here and attack. Hopefully they'll do something a little bit different to their last, let's just say, bad attack. It was quite quite poor. So we'll see how <laughs> they go. This time. It wasn't bad, it was just quite poor. <laughs> yeah. I want to say it's a bit more aggression on the A side or a bit more spread out uh, attention. Okay. Looks like they're going with the exact same thing though by the looks of things. I believe so. Uh, now Vamp, he's rocking the FAL. Uh, the Vamp, sorry, is rocking the FAL and he does have the bomb as well. He's just chilling here down in the street near the statue. He is looking across the tractor as that is where everyone uh, usually rolls. Now, obviously, everyone going for this A plant, the most popular one. He's going to take the tank for cover. And uh, he knows that there's a few around there. Now, obviously, uh, Mind Freak very, very well spread out. We've got uh, Zeke, who's around the back near Fridge, watching the flank, as that's a good move, because there is a member of Avant there it must in be the... Um, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a collision. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's let's check it. And he does get taken down. That's Vile Sider. So let's check out how Vile Sider is going to move now. He's um, chilling in... Uh, I think that's near the gas, gas station. He's going to go into the bottom of Mechanic now. Now, the bomb was armed, so let's check out what Mind Freak's doing about this. Oh, I don't know why Vile Sider's all over there. No, Mind Freak's getting dropped here. Now, Critical just taken down as Ooh. well. Mac is the only man left. That, yeah, that was a pretty big trade, wasn't it? He has to defuse this. Now, he's got 30 seconds to do it. Yeah, I see the Vile Sider backing off there. It's just really shaking him. He's so cautious about the back alley. He just wasted a good 20 seconds worrying about it. Oh. Trying to get the shots off over the top, but I don't know if he's going to be able to seconds. do anything. It's too well defended. Someone's in there in yeah, the uh, yeah, garden, and it's not going to happen. Trying to get those kills instead. And Very there. Well. Oh my gosh, it's one apiece. He's not going to be able to get the defuse here, so nah. there's no problems. 
Yeah, it's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Vysol just wants to stay alive he, he, here. I, I think the team of uh, Varna really played that quite well. Then. They just had the bomb down, yeah, just bought their round, time out, waited for the clock to run down, and uh, Maka played, played in their the hand quite well. Was, yeah, they, they played it very well there. They did play very well indeed. So nice work to Avant. Hysteria getting the final kill cam with that MMS. Nice, nice shots indeed. So well done to Hysteria and Team Avant. Now the score ready, is tied up to all. Avant obviously want to get the win here after going uh, down in that previous game. Let's see if the, uh, the Team of Avant have a, a strong attack like yeah, last round. It's pretty good. Both both attacks were pretty average first two rounds. And then the second two for both teams were, you know, Throwing decent. Smoke. So uh, let's hope they keep it going on. Looks like Vance got a bit of tension out the wide there. Is that Hopi that defends A, isn't it? I think that is Hopi that defends A. So there he is. He is defending A now. He is backing up. Now we do see some very nice positioning. We've got, um, I dare say, that's going to be Critical out the back. No, it's not. No, Critical's up front. He's pushing through, eh? Yeah, Putting ball. the pressure on. Now we'll just keep an eye on Ooh. Zeke. Now someone's got the scope out. I wonder if that's Vile Sider. I'd say so. Yeah, let's check him out. He's that would have been him. That would have been up there. Mac, Mac is probably going to come around. Oh, Valside, you're a unit. Now, we're a few sloppy shots at the beginning, but, you know, it wasn't the shortest distance, so he does get that early kill. Now, the bomb has been put down Speaking on A. Shots. It is now up to Avant to go and defuse this. Now, we do see that there is 2v1 situation happening at the moment. There's yes. only one alive. Make that that's none, it, that's so that's it. it. Oh that's the game there. Sorry, round, rather. <laughs> We all know so what I meant. A bit, bit, of a, a bit of a hostility <laughs> between the teams. Is that what's happening just, here? Just a little bit. <laughs> Last side is showing some love to the Mind Freak squad. Uh, <laughs> so it's a weird kind of love. Good job, Grunt. Get ready yeah, for right. the next round. So Avant taking the lead here. It's good to see, though. You know, it's good to see after they did go down in that previous game. Now, I, I got a call. I, I did not expect this at all. Like, they were, didn't seem yeah. so, so strong in Search and Destroy. Um, up against, I'm um, sorry, who did we have before? It um, was... Who was it? Um, yeah, wow. Uh, you, you're killing me here. No, it was um, <laughs> Uprising. Uprising, uprising yeah. that's it. No, you're right. Well, the first map they did, as I was saying earlier, they did, they did perform quite well, but um, they're definitely you know, bringing it to them again here. Concussion out. The trophies go over. Everyone going for this A again. Now we're going to be seeing Avant, obviously, on the aggression here. Sounds like Hopi's just spraying randomly. Not even any sort of educated guess going on there. Spray and pray, mate. That's how we roll. So Vant obviously has this bomb. Getting in that same position there. It's pretty Take, rubbish, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know about this positioning. You know, he thinks it works for him right near the statue. And he'll probably move across to the tank, as he did before, hoping on support from uh, hoping for support from Hopi, who's in the bottom of uh, the shop at the moment. He's going to be pushing out around the corner, and he does. Great communication from this team. So we're going to be seeing Hopi behind Vant, hopefully giving him some support supportive fire here. Everyone's still alive at the moment. He's doing a little creep forward. Not sure if it's going to work to his favor. He's peeping out a bit too far. Wouldn't be surprised if someone cuts through that court right now and gets some, some shots off on him. Now, let's just have a quick look at this map. Now, I do see that, that was Envious who took up. down Hysteria. Pushing into this garden now. They're going to switch things up, go straight back to this B target. Now, it looks like he is going to try and go for the plant. Let's check out who's oh, around him. We death. know Mac is around him because he just took him down. So, 2v4 at the moment. And, uh, look, I, I don't know if the van can come through. Hope he's still alive. He's full red. He might be taken down what's, very what's soon. What's Hope doing? Assist his teammate with the bomb. The bomb. He yeah. just forfeited in the round, mate. I'm not really sure what's oh, happening. He is, um, I think he is trying to stay alive, though, because he's trying to um, kill get, streaks. get those kill streaks up. But I think he You're just knows he right. had no hope. So you it doesn't really matter. It ties things up. Three yet. apiece here. Step up. Yeah, Obviously, okay. we need the first to six. You know, I think it was just he was happy taking that sacrifice. No, that makes sense. So critical, obviously, getting the final kill cam on Vile Sider. <laughs> Popping a few shots into his teammate as he goes. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a, that's a whole new tactic when you think about it. Is it's trying to stay alive. Not only so you keep kill streaks, but so your teammate, uh, the opposition, also doesn't get kill streaks. Yeah, that's Isn't right. It? If you have like a 10% chance of winning the round, maybe it's not worth going for that chance. So let's watch Vile Sider on the defense. He's got this scope and he's going to be jumping up on top of the fence. He's climbing here. Oh, misses the shot. Oh, How? Put it down. That one what sh that hit there? didn't that, it? That hit. That hit. No. Whoever that, that was, they're dead. That's true. I think it was Who is crit. That? It was crit? I think yeah, it was crit. Crit, crit yeah. you're dead. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Crit, don't be silly. Yeah, he's dead. See, he knows he's dead. Okay, <laughs> so Vile Sider's still got the scope. He's watching this B point. He doesn't want that gone down. Now he's watching the garden and he's chilling in here. In kebab, you know, just chilling around. Now let's check out the bomb map. Online. The bomb was armed. It was armed over on A. Let's see what's happening over oh, here. Zeke's over there. Up. Playing defensive. 
Yeah, whoever's in the in the boxes area, they're playing to win the round. Oh, nice, nice ah. work. Zeke took down Vamps and Maka took down Bile Sider. One v two at the moment. It's all on, as you said, Hysteria. He does have two kills this round. Ah, you can't win this. I don't. No, you can't look at the positioning here. I they're, think there's about the to be explodes. a little bit of conflict. Yeah. And look, yep. Envious took down the kill. The took down Hysteria. <laughs> Seems like the score is staying quite tight, but uh, every round seems to be like MF are ahead just by one round every time. You know what I mean? Like it's um, going round for round, but MF got that early run round on them. So hopefully they can break the trend next uh, next defense. Hopefully. Right, so. so we're going to be checking out Envious from Team Mind Freak. They are on defense at the moment. Obviously, rushes straight towards this A, uh, this A spot. And uh, let's check out. Oh, look, a little bit different this time, I think, from the Vamp. No, same old, same old. Vamp we'll having a peep through the smoke, chilling on the statue. I'm surprised you haven't seen much of a sniper up in that that corner building up the back there, you know, up in the on the roof or something like that. But um, right. Yes, this seems like based on where a Vamp always are. Both teams really, you'd be easily able to pick up a few cheap kills from that rooftop. So you'd think haven't so. seen it at all. They're just walk, waltzing around the street, around the statue and stuff like the hysteria is now. It's never, never contested. There is a bit of action around this back part. We've got Vile Cider up against what Whoa. might be Zeke. So let's check it out. The massive confliction in the middle. Uh, oh, it is hysteria. true. And it was oh, hysteria the getting the kill. I have no idea how he got that. He is full red. So it's 3v3 at the moment. 40 seconds left in the round. There is an opponent in his, in his room right and in front of him he here. He knows it too. But is he going to kebab? He go? is, he up, is he either upstairs or in kebab? He might be upstairs, I think. I'm pretty sure he's upstairs. He's oh, out. A one shot. Oh, oh that was almost... Oh, oh, it was two there. Yeah, yeah so he was. He was yeah. upstairs. So the last guy looks like he's probably going to go kebab, but I think Valside yeah. is there saying g'day. Oh, 2v1, 1v1 now. Gets the bomb down. Now all he has to do is just defend this. Oh, he's Easier go to the said than done. Oh, I mean, I hope he's seen go to the rooftop. I don't think he did. Oh, hope he going large here. Oh, this is oh really here well we go. I hope he... And hey there mate. it is. Hey, mate. <laughs> oh, hi, Maka. <laughs> <laughs> Takes him down. He was uh, sniffing out the tank. He was. Getting dropped as he has a bit of a sniff. So Hopi going large, 1v1, drops the uh, the bomb, gets it planted, and then takes down well, the opposing Ma player. Maka right did there. get a double there. If Hopi didn't read us like, as perfectly as he did, Maka could, uh, quite easily destroy. could have got the trip there and uh, won the round for his team. Really could. Look, this yeah. is going to and fro. It's anyone's game at the moment for a piece in this game. Look, let's check how they go on the minimap here. Now, the usual stuff we see happening. One goes through the bottom of shop. A couple straight down the guts. One chills on the corner there between statue and bunks. One's gone out the back. Look, it's standard play. Two defending A. We've got one out the back and one in the middle. So, Garden gets taken down. Ooh. That's going to be hysteria. Let's get back into this game. On board with Envious. Maka just took down Hysteria, I believe. Critical getting shots on the A over there. 2v4 at the moment. Mind Freak up. Make that 3v1. I, I think it's all odds against Hopi right now, but he went clutch before. Let's see what he can do now. Looks oh. like he can get dropped. How many bullets does that go on at each? Just a few, but he was trying to shoot through concrete. Yeah, there, I guess know. a few clips in that. Don't think he has the FMJ going. Anyway. Oh, Zeke was right there playing next to him anyway. He would have cleaned him up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I had high hopes for Hopi, but... You, you just you just had to flip that in, didn't you? <laughs> 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 so Mind Freak are now up 5-4. to four. They only need one more yeah. win to take out this game. If they do, the series score will be 2-0. So we are on with Envious, but not for long. I'm going to switch it up and go to Hopi, who's now the bomb carrier for, I think. Mixing it up. About time. Yeah. You've got a submachine gun. Why are you waiting until the last potential round to do that? I'm not sure, but look, this is the combination that worked for Avant before. Hopi usually took the bomb, he went for an SMG, and he pushed relatively aggressive, and his team backed him up with it. Well, yeah, I mean, up until now, on this map, you've seen who, who the hell gives a bomb carrier to a guy with a foul Where, <laughs> and makes him go front line. Well, that's right, that's right. Where's Hopi's backup now? He does have someone with him finally. Now, I think that's going to be it is. It's Vamp. So Vamp's with him, chilling behind this tank. Now, he needs Vamp. What's Vamp's rocket? Now, Vamp has gone with a foul. So Vamp should be back a little bit, letting Hopi push up. Probably just to the side here, just to the side of the statue beside tractor that little courtyard there. So he said he's going to throw the flash in. Everyone's still alive. Vamp's backing him up, looking down the street. If we have a look at the map here, there's a bit of fire going to and fro. Now, two are on A. This is Hopi and Vamp's uh, opportunity. Now, Vamp's pushing in really hard with that FAL. It was working, but he was get dropped. did get dropped. They traded. 
Hope he's going in now with this SMG. Someone's in the courtyard. Yeah, he's taking the track of the cover. Nice work by Hovey. Oh, the guy barrels. Time is running out, though. Time is not on their side. It's really not. It's two apiece at the moment. Decides to bail. Oh, and it'll help him out, teammate. It was a smart move until, yeah, he was we taking out bar side of rock in the scope. Come on, mate. Go for the plant. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Finish the mission. You're all and there it is. To lose. <laughs> Six to four. You know, I really feel Avant could have done a little bit better uh, in the end there. You know, I hope he did his best, but, you know, they're, they're under a lot of pressure from my And, of course, on the main stage here are the Call of Duty Championships. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think, I think all these teams, all the players in the teams are seasoned enough to not have to worry about it. I think Hysteria up in there, up on the, the main stage, is probably the only person a little bit green. Everyone else has a few seasons under their belt. Yeah, but look, there hasn't been an event like this for quite a while. And, mm, um, you know, yeah, it's good to sure. see him up here. But, look... Uh, props to Event, they played really, really well, but Mindfreak too strong. So 2-0, they go up in this series uh, versus Avant Guards. So look, up next, we're going to be having Capture the Flag on Express. And again, this is anyone's way. It doesn't matter what call we make, they always mix it up on us. Now, mm. Mindfreak obviously <laughs> playing really strong. They've now won five games in a row, including their first uh, series up against yep. Emperor, which they 3 0 So they went 3-0, now 2-0. They're going to try and make it a clean sweep here against Avant Garde, who they took out in the qualifying bracket to get to this tournament. Now, um, as we said, really, really exciting stuff. We're going to be getting some updates from the floor very soon to see how the rest of our games are going, including losers bracket round one. But uh, Express capture the flag. I think we might be ready pretty soon. I hope. But in the meantime, how are you feeling, man? Like this, yeah, is, this I mean, atmosphere is great. It, We've got the good, DJ it, pumping. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, we're going to be having that show match. Listen, SO, uh, K21. We, we've got those, uh, like some awesome talent from the Australian hip hop scene going up against YouTubers. Whoa, we've watch got, out. Oh, no, oh, no, right? <laughs> those YouTubers, man. Uh, yeah. The Aussie Gamer Sheep, uh, Aussie Gamer Chick, a few Aussies in there. Um, Why Chachi, and of course, One Nine Champ Chong. They're all going to be here a little later on playing that show match. So exciting stuff. Um, this game almost set up. We're almost ready. They're getting their classes ready for this capture the flag game type. On Express, I like this map. A lot of excitement happening. Oh, hopefully, uh, I can bring it back here. I mean, the last two maps have been just so close, but you don't want to go down 3-0, and uh, it, it looks it looks like a whitewash no matter what if you go down 3-0, but both those maps have been super tight, so um, it'd be Look, pretty disheartening to lose the third one. You wanted to win a map. If if Mind Freak go through 3-0, you're going to see Event come through so strong in the loser's bracket. I wouldn't be surprised if they fight all the way back through. Oh, you know, yeah. I'd be surprised if I didn't, really. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's, there's a strong chance that we could have basically uh, a copy of what happened during the qualifying bracket. But, you know, on land, on this stage, exciting stuff. I'm not really sure what's <laughs> going to happen. Well, based on the last game we spectated, I mean... Geez, anything can happen. That was, that was a, a huge upset, really, to, to have it come all the way back. But uh, Vant really shot him down in the end. Well, it was. It was to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, until, um, yeah, Mind Freak walked away with the final two. Mm. And look, it was really, really well deserved. Excuse me. So, yeah. So, Capital Flag on Express coming up next. We do see the guys from, uh, I believe that's Mind Freak on your screen at the moment. And uh, obviously going through their classes. We're going to be getting this game started very, very soon. <laughs> Got to get those classes right, mate. Oh, you have to. You man. Need those red dots. You got it. So, uh, in capture the flag. What's uh, what's your? Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, actually, on this on this particular map, it um, yeah, it, it really can like it be a steamroll. Like uh, I feel like once you get a bit of a mo momentum going, you can actually like we've seen um, the last CTF map we were spectated. It, it seems like you get um, round after round. Like you can just keep those flags going. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty curious to see if they, they, either team can get that to happen. But um. I mean, both both season teams. Surely they're not going to let them, you know, get a few chains happening. So I, it could go. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I'd like to see it. I'm not going to try and call it all. I, nah, I, nah. I, you can't. Nah. You can't. Like, I mean, obviously, Mind Freak. You, you could say Mind Freak because of how strong they're playing. Mm. Like, you know, five zero so far. They're carrying their momentum. But you know, we haven't got the update from the floor about how uh, other teams are going yet. So we're going to have to see then. <laughs> you never know. I'm expecting some big results from Immunity when we checked in on them. Yeah. I, they were a two zero up against Hostile. I think they. I think they might have taken that a 3-0. So it would be very interesting to yeah, see where they were team. at. Uh, our NZ team, I think they went down against Aura. We'll have to get the updates. But uh, as I said, we are waiting for Capture the Flag on Express. What's your favourite game type? I definitely Surge. I've definitely always search? enjoyed Surge. I've played it for so long. I don't know, it's just like heaps more 1v1 mindset sort of thing. It's enjoyable to outsmarting people and stuff. 
I'm nowhere plus, near. Plus, a, my shot's really terrible. So, <laughs> I'm nowhere near a pro player, so I mm. die a lot, and therefore I can't handle having one life and having a way for the Yeah, fair cool, fair cool. Nah, domination's the style for me. So, um, again, my freak versus uh, Avant Gaming. Uh, we're going to be going to a little break actually, as these guys get their final changes in order. So, guys, make sure if you haven't done already, make sure you spread this stream around. Twitch tv forward slash acl pro and i'll tell you what it's instead of going to a break how about, well, we, get how about we go to the game let's That's do it, an idea, isn't it? <laughs> these All guys right. they be trolling so we're going to be getting into this game capture the flag on express so you're feeling a big break from maca like you did in the last game oh hope you hope you had a really good um roll out from the the, the what you, hard point so he, let's, let's see how he goes indeed let's see how he goes He's going to be rocking the MSMC, the SMG, at the beginning of this game. And we're going to be seeing everyone basically spread out. It's pretty interesting how they all go roughly the same thing, you know. I suppose once you're pro, that's how you roll. <laughs> now, Hope he's about to come into contact Ooh. with Maka. Uh, and it's Maka. It's guys. Yeah, Maka makes him pay. <laughs> Taking him down very early, so he's one kill up. He's going to be cooking that nade before throwing it out. He gets. Nade. Perfect oh. kill. Follows it up almost, almost. with another kill on Hopey, but oh. Vamp is going to take perfection. him down. That nade was, that really was perfect. Vamp starting strong. Three kills up at the beginning of this game. He's going to be checking it out. He's on the train line at the moment, looking towards uh, middle. And no action with flags at the moment, both at the base. Let's have a look. Now, we're going to be seeing one player down on info, one in the hut. That's for Mind Freak. Now, uh, uh, Vamp, he's watching the terminal here. Looking down the, uh, look, trying to look down that little runway there. And he should have kept looking that way. As someone's going to get the flank, exactly. that's going to be Zeke. And then Maka Our also getting the kill taken. on Hopi. And we're going to be seeing Maka two kills up. Got the flag. He's going to be running back down the arrivals way towards the uh, the back near the lift. You know, he's running as fast as those little cod legs can take him. Gets a quick reload while he can. Let's check out the map. No one's in a position to stop him. They are all up the top, obviously. Now, we're going to see his team spread out all angles. Now, who's that? I think that is going to be Hopi. He's looking the wrong way, though, and I reckon someone from Mindfreak is going to be taking him out. He runs off. So we're still with Maka as he's trying to run up the, uh, the departures here, trying to get that flag in. Now, the flag is out for both both teams at the moment, I, I do believe. So yeah. Vile Sider in control of oh, the flag. flag. He was just oh. taken down, though. Pass Maka is going to try and run this in. Gets the kill, then runs it, it in. So 1-0 up. Order. Strong start for Mind Freak. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so tricky when you have those little stalemates flag. like that. But uh, unfortunately, Vile Sider got kicked off really early, so... Oh, a bit of a bit of an early lead for MF once again. So a lot of pressure now on the team of uh, of. Uh, that, I was just about to say that was some strong shooting for Maka until he was unfortunately taken down by Hopi. It's amazing how he can make that BDW work for him even those distances. Now that was Hopi was just taken down by uh, I believe that was critical. Vamps for a vamp. He's up high trying to get the long shots off with his FAL. Gets some shots on Maka and he does take him out. Some solid work. No one in position to move any flags at the moment, though. We're checking out Mind Freak. They're all on so their side of the map. Oh, yes. He's got about three guys watching him here, Hopi. That is Hopi. <laughs> You've got to be scared with that. How do I know that would be Hopi? That seems to be Hopi style. Yeah, he doesn't want to take on that distance with the uh, MSSP. Someone still at the back. Oh. He knew he was there, though. I, I think uh, he he, it ran. looked like he ran to the right. Yeah. Um, critical. It looked like he dodged to Hopi's right. But uh, right. apparently he must have doubled back as soon as he looked away. I would have been doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um... Yeah, I, I honestly thought he just would have kept running up to the right there. But anyway, Critical gets dropped by Hopi. He's going to be probably running underneath here. Still going hard for these flags. Oh, I have Bit to. of smoke <laughs> about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, Mind Freak's so spread out, though. And we're going to see Z. He's up top. He might jump down, but he said he's going to get the long shots. And the SMG just not built for it. No. PDW, unfortunately, Reloading. doesn't have the range. He's going to run in maybe after a kill or two and get this flag. Trying to get the positioning right, though. That's two down for Avan at the moment. So this is the time to do it. He is going to run down the terminal. Let's check out the spawns. He is running down the bottom, and no one's in a position. Look at the positioning of Ivan at the moment. They're all up the top near the office. Zeke can basically just run this through. However, that is someone else. Who's that? That's Vileside there to stop him. Is he going to be able to? The flash is out. He knows oh, <laughs> He knows that Critical's going yeah. to destroy him. That's what he knows. <laughs> Coming with that level. cap, and I believe Zeke's going to be running through. Critical there to back him up. 
Same situation as before. Let's see if uh, was it Zeke last time was the one who got the, the no, it was Crit got the return on Valside earlier. Did you see how safe he was playing it, trying to play it safe, yeah. just hiding up in that corner and get taken down anyway? Oh, hard to return that flag though. It is really hard to return that flag. Now let's have a look. Who's in position to get this? I think Envious is going to go back for it. I don't think he's too keen to pick it up. Enemy flag acquired. No. Okay, well someone's got it, so that's going to be Zeke. He went back for it. Seems like they're quite. Con uh, you know, Content, I guess, to, to have a one one zip lead on the first half. They're not really Time's aggressively trying to done. go for the return or anything, which is fair enough, really. Like, they're happy to be up one. Yeah, well, with 30 seconds left, I suppose that's right. It's a symmetrical map. They can just defend all day long and, you know, win the game. Pretty much. I think that's what we're seeing happening here. Uh, I don't think Hysteria... Look, it doesn't look like anyone's making any movements, really. We've got one player. I don't think they're aware they're down a flag. I think I must Maybe have not. That was Vasa that was up there. Vamp's the only one in position to do anything at the moment. He does get one Enemy kill, and... Oh! oh no. that was Unfortunately, almost. shut down by Zeke, and Zeke is going to get he, the final yeah. kill cam as well. Some nice work. That, that, that was close to a return, really. It was. Okay. A very stylish kill cam by Zeke there. Was indeed. Now, as they switch sides, it's going to be seeing how they work. Now, obviously, Mind Freak with the lead, 1-0. Going to be seeing how the squad from Avant Guard are going to be playing this one. Hope you're still rocking that MSMC. Now, let's see how they all spread out. Now, Flash. I think Avant playing pretty defensive here. Now, there's a couple of players. Look, you've got one, one team who's up high, one down low, and it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out because, obviously, you've got Envious right down the bottom here. But it looks like we do see Avant. Who, who's that? That's Vileside who's up high there. Rocking the PDW. And the sentry gun is out. Throws a smoke. Going for the flag. He does grab it. Don't think he's going to get anywhere, though, as Mind Freak drops him. Envious is going to strike now. Envious has picked up the flag. Looking, looking to make this into a 2-0. Two, two and that's Envious with the flag on his back at the moment. Rocking the AN-94. Powerful assault rifle. He's going to rock up straight through the middle, but he does get shot in the back by Vilesider before Critical gets revenge for him. Flag is returned over to the left. Ooh. That could have been a tie-up there, but uh, Maka cleaned up Hopi, unfortunately. Maka just too good, and now we see Critical with the flag. Once again, he's got the cap out, and he means business. He's going to be weaving through the train, and it doesn't look like anyone's in the position to stop him right now. There is uh, three members of Avant in position to defend though they're right on their flag we're going to see that flag in the hands of vile slider in fact now he's got that he's throwing out the few names he's got the pdw in his hand might see some weaving from him does take down the flag carrier so he gets the return the flag is in his hands as well this is a bit of a turn turnaround here a lot of, a lot of really good play here by Avant. it really, turned it really is but that oh, oh, sorry, what can you do when that's happening there? yeah you you really can't do anything and that's oh, macker oh, at the moment flag. five kill streak the flag oh, is flag. in look it's Our flag is back i said it before duck shooting that's what's happening at the moment macker five kills up three down for Avant at the moment flag. so with that happening criticals of course going to snatch that flag he got the double kill as well, so nice two piece. But he's going to try and push this flag through, and it doesn't look. It does look like Avant are pushing up from down below, going through. Uh, I think they might be going up. Yeah, chop him off they are, a they're lot, of, lot of numbers oh, here. If he gets his through, it's some really good leg work. Oh, Hysteria oh, right. gets a real clutch return there. He does. Critical does unlock the Hellstorm just before he dies. So Maka on an eight kill spree at the moment. He's got the Hellstorm missile up his sleeve. That SMG working wonders for him at the moment. Taking a look at the map. Maka getting another kill. Make that nine kill. Unlocking the lightning strike and the sentry gun. Going for another one. That's ten in a row. Then he's going to go in for the flag. Finds Vilesider. Vilesider can not be killed. Get out of my face. Yes. As you say that, Seri is going to be the one to take him down. But he has all of his kill streaks. Yeah. This is all Mind Freak's game. And not cement, uh, so a sentry gun in position, he's got all his kill streaks up, and the clock's winding down quite quickly. Down to two minutes already, and they're still up one zip. Look, with two two minutes to go, he's got he's got his lightning strike and uh, hellstorm up his sleeve. I uh, look, another hellstorm in the hands of critical. Envious going strong. Look, even if they get the flag, it doesn't matter. Like they've got so many kill streaks, they could literally sit back yeah. and laugh as they aren't try and take it. Yeah. Every time we're spectating the macro, I just keep seeing his little tags in the middle while his sentry guns cleaning up people like right now. Yeah, just I know, right? Them. Yeah. He's giving assists for all his teammates. 
No, the, the, the kill streaks are just. They're too far ahead. I, I, I really can't see this turn around. It looks, looks, looks like it's going to be 3 zip after all. Yeah, and Maka, Maka's got the flag right now. And I, I see them putting this in. Like, who's, yeah. is there anyone in position? No, nah, no one's in position to stop nah, him. That's Gets that flag in. 2 0. This game's going to go to Mind Freak. Enemy flag. Too easy. And you know what? Well played as well. Mm. Avant was really strong in that last that last series, but they weren't strong enough. They they did come through 3-2, but this one 3-0 sweep to Mind Freak, so that's going to make six games in a row. We're going to see this Hellstorm come out. Is he going to cluster it? No, he's just going to go for the single kill, guaranteed kill. He is now three kills up. Critical is as well. Zeke's down here, but look, he's playing well as well. Avant, I'm sorry guys, I don't think you're going to make it through. 45 no, seconds left, two caps to go, taken. and look, they're still going. Maka, four kills up, got the flag as well. He's just chilling, yeah. celebrating. You know, why not drive it home, show everyone here on stream, at the competition, show them what your team's about. Mind Freak going large. There's sentry guns just stopping everyone. He's going to use this lightning strike as well. Let's see what this does. He's going to put it to work. And unfortunately, I don't think he's going to take anyone out. He might have got one. I've seen so many sentry guns close in one game. Like, he's just going large. He is not going large. Friendly Hellstorm is the score, and you see all of these kill streaks coming out. He still has the Hellstorm up his sleeve. I'm not sure if he's going to get a chance to use it. Andrew even realizes he has it. Gets the headshot, and unfortunately taken down right at the end. So that's going to be Maka, I believe, who's going to end up with the final kill cam. 3 0 is the score in this game, and I'll tell you what, they're going to take the series 3 0, knocking avant garde into the loser's bracket. They are on screen at the moment. Look, great sportsmanship all around here at the Call of Duty Australian New Zealand Championship Finals. I, I love that ponytail. Just, just thought I'd just slip it in there real quick. Hey, he's it's a just, champion, Vile. It's just cute. It is pretty cute. <laughs> so 3-0, that's uh, the score in that game. Mind Freak, as we just said, do take the series 3-0. So that's winner's bracket round one and two to them in a 3-0 fashion. Knocking avant-garde into the loser's bracket. Now, just some updates from the floor. We had Aura knock out uh, NZ team, Seraphic Nexus, or knock them down into the loser's bracket, sorry, 3-1. And winner's bracket round two, we're seeing Immunity go up against Aura. And in loser's bracket round one, Hostile versus the NZ team, Seraphic Nexus. So some really exciting matchups there. We're going to be getting some uh, scores for everyone on stream, for the guys here in the venue. And uh, look... It, it's been a great day so far. Like, these games have been top par. It's going to be interesting to see whatever the two lucky teams are out of the eight we have here today. Once they fly over to the States for the World Championship, it's going to be interesting to see how they play. I think, you know, we've got some world-class players here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the next next game is going to be with Immunity. Depending on how they're going against Aura, they've been an unstoppable force so far. So um, if they manage to clean that up, looks like the next uh, winner's bracket final will be the two top top two seeds for um, the online bracket. So... Um, Happening once again and in the winner's bracket. <laughs> potentially what we'll be seeing in the grand final. But hey, anything can happen right now. We're going to uh, we're gonna be getting some updates from the floor, see who's eliminated and whatnot so far. So we do have, uh, we're going to be having winners round three up next, potentially. We're just going to check. Yep. So um, look, guys, we're going to be getting uh, going to a short break. Uh, don't go anywhere. As I've said before, make sure you share, tweet, Facebook, whatever you like to do. Get everyone watching this stream, support the Call of Duty uh, competitive scene here in Australia. Before we go to our break, though, I'd just like to give a shout out to the supporters that make this event happen. Of course, Treyarch, Activision, Xbox, ACL Pro, EB Games, Oz, and Turtle Beach with their amazing headsets. Loving it all around. Now, guys, we're going to go to a commercial break. I'm going to enjoy your mother. We'll see you when we get back. 